It has been an ongoing saga since yesterday, and in the latest move, Afria responded to Green Growth Brands' hostile takeover bid this morning, saying the bid undervalued the company, which was valued at about $1.4 billion before the offer. The Canadian cannabis company says its board was approached by Green Growth yesterday morning about the proposal, and that Green Growth then took the bid to shareholders fewer than six hours later. Afria's new board chair, Irvin Simon, who founded the Haines Celestial Group, was just appointed to the position yesterday, he says the proposed offer is quite risky given Green Growth's condition to complete a brokered financing at a price that's more than double the recent average of their share price as a key term to the proposal. Afria was an attractive target for Green Growth, especially after its stock plummeted upon a short seller report earlier this month. Analysts expect more M&A activity in the new year and they're eyeing alcohol and tobacco companies for near-term deals and also consumer packaged goods and pharmaceutical brands as potential partners with cannabis companies down the road as the industry consolidates. As far as the green growth and Afria saga, we'll have to stay tuned. Fascinating. Aditi, I have a question yeah. about that, that line about the financing that Erwin Simon had. Mm -hmm. So he's worried that the financing was at double the share price, but at the same time, didn't the company say that yeah. the, the bid undervalued the company? Yeah, what they're saying is, yeah, they're saying that it undervalued the company, uh, although uh, then Green Growth says that it's a premium of about 45.5%, and it's just kind of an apples and oranges what they're looking at, right? Uh, they're saying, uh, Afria is saying they're looking at the, I think, average 20-day um, weighted volume, uh, and whereas Green Growth is looking at um, the premium upon where the shares were yesterday. I mean, the, the key is, is that because of the short seller report, they lost so much value in the last month. They pared back some of those losses, but uh, in a matter of two days, they lost about half their value before paring back some of those losses. So it almost sounds like Erwin Simon saying that a green growth financially can't handle mm -hmm. that sort of financing at such a high price. Yeah, exactly.